Hello everyone, Segmentator here, and welcome to the Resident Evil 4 Remake Announcement Trailer. Um, I couldn't do a live reaction to this because I was in Slovakia for a wedding. Uh, hopefully you wouldn't have noticed I've been away because I scheduled videos up to uh, June 17th. I'm back now, which is, yes, yeah, the 6th today. So hopefully all has gone smoothly and you haven't been without content. I did watch this live while I was out there and my jaw just hit the floor when they opened with RE4. We all knew it was coming. We all we all saw the leaks. We knew it was in development. But still, it came as a complete shock to me when they finally showed it in its... Uh, showed us that it was a real thing. So what we're going to do, I want to go through the trailer and talk about the potentials of this remake and more to come. But let's begin. We'll go, we'll watch the trailer through first and then I'll break bits down. March 24th, 2023. Olé! I love the music choice for this. Four. Gunder Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. There's Ashley. Look, you fine, girl. First house. Guess you, me. Hey, Louis. Hey, the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Caesar Mendez. You will receive our most sacred body. No thanks. It begins now. Resident Evil 4. I can't wait. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for a second. Now she is looking fine. This time, it can be different. It has to. Well then, let's put this on loop. There's actually, they didn't show a lot in this trailer, but they showed enough for us to to talk about. So let's see what we can pick out. I'll mute it for now while we and leave it on loop. It's coming out in March. That's that seems to be pretty much standard for. For Resident Evil titles these days, March or January. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I first heard the music, I thought, I thought, The Last of Us remake. But then when this R popped up, combined with the Spanish music, my first thought was actually Red Dead Redemption remake. And I don't know why it did not occur to me that this was the Resident Evil font. And there we go, Resident Evil 4. I tried to be as quiet as I could when I when this and the trailer dropped right because when I was in it was midnight in Slovakia and I was sh sharing a room with someone else. Here's our first look at Leon. Now we didn't get this in the original Resident Evil Four, but this is Leon and uh, President Graham. We can see uh, can see like this bit here where he's he's tapping Leon on the shoulder. So this is where. Leon is obviously being assigned to go and find Ashley after being kidnapped. 
I love the fact that Leon is in his infinite darkness look here. It really, it's really helping to make like, all the Resident Evils feel connected. Regardless of what you may have thought of Infinite Darkness, overall I enjoyed it. I don't think we'll be getting a second season. But for what it, is, but for what it was, I enjoyed it. So I, lo I love the fact that he, yeah, he, that he's in his Infinite Darkness look here. I have to agree with Claire. Suits just don't work on Leon. He, ne he needs a jacket, you know, leather jacket. Or that, uh, no, it's a leather one, the one with the he's racing for, but Jin. So, we're obviously going to get a bit more backstory into Leon, his relationship with the president, and how he became an agent after only being an RPD officer for a day. Capcom. Here's our first look at Ashley. And as a lot of people have probably pointed out already, she does look like she's wearing mostly her, her beta outfit from Resident Evil 3.5. For those of you who don't know, 3.5 was a was uh one of the early versions of Resident Evil 4 before we got the one we got. And in that one, Leon got infected by I think I think it was a gas. I can't remember too much, but he would hallucinate this zombie with a hook that would pursue him throughout the game. So it it definitely looks like look like uh it definitely looks like they are lifting elements from that scrapped project and bringing them into four, which I really like. They did a similar thing with the Resident Evil Two remake. They lifted elements from one point five. And brought them into the two remake. He's looking good, I have to say. We have a, I assume, a dead goat. We've got Leon making his way towards the village, I reckon. Got another shot of Ashley here. Our old friends, the crows, have returned. One good flashbang, and I don't know if enemies will be dropping goods this time as well. They have said that they are going for a more horror focus for this remake, which is great for me. As far as I'm concerned, that is what Resident Evil 4 really needed. The over-the-top over action, yes, it's fun, but for a Resident Evil game, horror should be front and centre. Like That should be the main focus. Increase the action by all means, but the horror needs to be at the top, front and centre. And here we go. You can see here, even Leon is much closer to his 3.5 look than 4. Like the jacket doesn't really fit him that well. It's quite baggy. The same with his trousers too. But uh, what's really interesting about this shot is that the house, I assume this is the first house where we meet, have our first encounter with the Ganado. It offers, like, the window is on this side now instead of over here, the window that Leon will eventually jump out. And this this whole area just looks so much more lived in. This is like this is quite a common thing to see in the RE engine. There's lots of clutter around in the these outside areas. It really helps make this world feel alive. Which is somewhat ironic. Little gold thing there. I don't know what that is. We've got some bear traps, so we know we're going to be getting caught in those. A meat cleaver here. Just everything about this area is just, just screams, do not enter, I'm not a sociable person. I know this is not a professional trailer breakdown, I don't do these very often. And here we've got Leon entering the house. And here's our first look at the village, and it looks... Pretty much exactly the same as uh, the original. This is the area I think here where we entered where we enter the village. This is the barn with the cow, and up here there's a you can see here another building. This is a hut where I think they were originally keeping Ashley, where Ada jumps up to in uh, separate ways. We've got the barn here that's. 
that was locked off in the original, that, but that you but you could go into it in Mercenaries, but the doors open here. This whole area is collapsed here, which I like. Here's the other house. This fence here is the house you run into to trigger the cutscene where uh, Dr. Salvador makes his appearance. Here we've got the door with the Los Illuminatos key uh, to open, and here's the clock tower. So it's pretty much exactly the same, and obviously we've got the pie here with the poor police officer being burned at the stake. What more can I say? It looks incredible. It look it looks exactly like the village we know, just much better detail, much better fidelity. I love it. It looks amazing. Here's another look at that door that you go to. Uh, there's the. Uh, I think you just just about make out the top of the Los Illuminados symbol here but we've got a bit more detail obviously we've got skulls of other poor victims who wandered into the village I'm guessing oops, if I can... oops. I'm not used to winding back video so here, here we go here's another quick look at Leon I heard somebody uh, theorise that this might be the barn fight with Mendez, but I don't think that's true because Leon's still got his jacket here. So I think this is uh, this is a close-up of the pyre with the police officers burning alive. I think this top bit here might be the officer's shoe that's still on fire. So straight away we know this is going to be grim. This is going to be really grim. They're really hiding Leon's face. I don't. I think they're trying to hide the fact that it is going to be the RE2 remake model, just aged up, because it has been six years since RE2. And here's our boy Louis, Louis Serra, with sporting a new and quite a nice looking leather jacket, and it looks like the the detail on his jacket here looks very similar to what. The shirt he had on in the original. And there's there it is. There's the Red Nine. A lot of fans of RE4 love the Red Nine. I'm I'm not a fan. Uh, um I tend to stick to the default guns for some reason. I don't know why. I, lo I love the Silver Serpent and the standard shotgun. Although I do swap out for the tactical one when I get it. But yeah, there's the Red Nine. Louis confirmed, as if that was ever going to be in doubt. Here's our first look at the... This is the first house again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's that first Ganado cooking himself some... Some poor sod, I imagine, who wandered in there. And again, so much more detail, so much more environmental stuff going on. That makes this place feel lived in. We've got all this food, all this clutter around. I can't wait. The lighting as well. Not they are definitely setting the mood with this trailer. I don't expect the action is going to be toned down at all. I just think all they're doing is that they keep. I think they're going to keep that fast-paced action off the original, they're just ramping up the horror aspect to match, which for me is perfect. If they pull this off, I'll be honest, if they pull this off, then Resident, in my opinion, Resident Evil 4 Remake could, make, could possibly become the best Resident Evil game. I... I think I vaguely said that about Village, but after a few replays, while I liked Village, I do, I love it a lot, it's not quite good enough to knock the original OG Resident Evil 2 off the top spot. Maybe this one can. If they can balance out the horror and the action in a really good way, I think this could possibly earn Resident Evil 4 the title of best game in the series i know a lot of people claim that it is no yeah, that's fine that's your opinion i respect that but for me it was it was always okay i liked resident evil 4 i have fun playing it but there's 
the lack of the horror aspect was uh, a bit of a sticking point for me. And here he is. Uh, the first boy, the first Canado we meet, and you can see here his eyes all bloodshot. Just look at him. Look at the detail. It's incredible. Look, see every wrinkle in his face. All the individual hairs of his eyebrows. I mean, I can't exactly comment on his eyebrows. Mine aren't exactly on fleek, as the kids used to say. Is that a thing anymore? Probably not. I'm old. Sue me. Now, this area looks new. Don't you buffer on me. Over here, we've got a, a hat. We've got one of the zealots from the castle. We've got a few of the Los Illuminatos uh, symbols. I don't recognise this area. It might be in the castle. It could be in the church because we've got the symbol here as well and an altar. And some pews down here. So this could be the church. And if so, they've either expanded the church or they've redesigned it on the inside. Either way, it looks amazing. Here we go, the more, more zealots. Not a lot. Of, we can't really get much on them. But I love the fact that they look far less clean cut than they did in the original. I like the fact that they look ragged up there. Cloaks are torn and it look it looks like you can see the plug of parasite already bulging out of them around the necks unless they're wearing some kind of additional clothing. I mean, if you're walking down a dark alley and you see these guys coming towards you, you're going to turn around and leave quickly, aren't you? I would not be hanging around. <laughs> We've got some more village. Oh, got some more villagers here, more silhouettes rather, and they look quite normal from this angle. I suppose that's most likely on purpose. They don't want to obviously show off everything in this initial trailer. And here, as we saw, as I accidentally skipped ahead, here's Ada. Unfortunately, it has been confirmed that Jolene is not reprising her role as Ada from Resident Evil 2 Remake, which I think is a shame because I think she did an amazing job. So we're going to get a new Ada voice to go with the new outfit. And I, lo I love the new outfit. She's wearing this red tactical uh, turtleneck number. And obviously she's all... She looks... It's reminiscent of her a Simon Ada look. But instead of wearing all black, she's obviously wearing her signature red. And I might be, I could be wrong, but going just by the jawline and the lips, it also, it looks, again, it looks like they're using the RE2 model, which is great because I think that's my favourite look for Ada. And then we've got, well, there's Mendez, but we'll go back here. We've got Leon in the boat. So Del Lago confirmed, do not shoot the water. I love the fact that the water still has that green murky tint to it. It, it. You know, it's not clean water. There's all this weird white shit. I mean, that's probably just waves, but it still looks gross. I would not take a dip in that. Let's put it that way. And there he is, the big cheese himself, putting up, giving off all kinds of Mr. X vibes. You can just about see some details of his beard here, his face, and he's wearing a hat, which I will 100% be shooting off. I wonder if there'll be an achievement for that, because there was one for Mr. X. But overall, he still looks like Chief Mendes. He's still got that, that coat with, I don't know what you call that bit that goes over the shoulders, but he's still a big, imposing dude. Some people are, theor are theorising that he might be more of a pursuer like Mr. X, as well as a, a boss. I kind of hope that's true. I hope we do get to see more of Mendez. Because I know in terms of the boss hierarchy, he was the lower level guy. But I've, I felt like his time in the original was too short-lived. There's a close-up of Ashley. But if we go back a bit, here's uh, 
a familiar sight. This is Leon when he's when the infection of his of the parasites in him are hatching, taking control, or it's a hallucination. Some people have theorized that that was a hallucination after his fight with uh, Del Lago. Or it could be another element lifted directly from 3.5. Maybe Leon's going to be hallucinating things a lot more through this remake. So we're going to have to be dealing with him slowly losing his mind and his body as the game progresses. Which I hope is kind of true because it would make that scene in RE4 where he kills the parasite in him with Ashley's help a lot more impactful. You know, there wasn't... they. They played on that a little bit in the original RE4, but in my opinion, not enough for me to be concerned for this character's safety. I mean, we know he's going to make it out of this. It's Leon. But if you don't feel like the character's lives are in a very real threat or in danger, it makes it hard to take some of those elements seriously. So I'm gl it looks like they're really going to be playing up on that, which is great. There's Ashley again. Oh, and here's our boy. Giving us a good uh, a love tap with his axe. And again, I am blown away by j just the detail in his face. You can tell this dude is angry. He, I mean, we did break into his home. Let's be fair. We did break into his home, shoved a picture of a girl in his face and go, you seen this woman? Granted, throwing an axe at my head is a bit of an extreme reaction, but still. I'd say this guy's teeth are better than mine. Bastard. Here we go, our first look at the church. No Los Illuminas or symbol, symbol on the roof bit here this time. Maybe they don't want to advertise themselves too much and give away their location, which makes more sense. Lots of crows. Now, here's an interesting look. Again, this does look like the Los Illuminati symbol or a uh, variation of it, but it's got these hands all connected. I'm not an expert on symbology or anything like that, so I can't tell you the meaning of this until we get to see what's happening in the game, but I've heard some people uh, suggest or theorise that they're going to somehow link the Los Illuminati Lost a little nice house to Miranda from Village, which makes sense. Which makes sense. I mean, she was working on the virus. She knew about Spencer and his plans. So what's to say that she also wasn't aware of Sadler and his plans? And here he is. Here's our first look at the main man himself, Sadler. And again, looks like he's still got his, his very intricate hooded cloak look. His organic s stick. I think this was, was it the Master Plug or the Queen Plug? I can't remember the name of it now. But this one, this is the one that allows him to control the others. Very happy with what I'm seeing so far. And if we just go back a little bit, we can see here. Get the timing right. There we go. Okay. I think this might be the moment where Leon gets, possibly gets the Plaga infection. It's only for an injection. The uh, parasite emerges from Sadler's wrists. And maybe, like in um, RE5, where you see them force that parasite down the guy's throat, maybe that's what's going to happen here to Leon. So a far more aggressive form of infection rather than just the injection he got in the original. And Sadler's eyes seem to be glowing here. I really like that. It's quite an intimidating look. You've got this, this hood darkening out most of his face and just these glowing eyes staring at you. Then boom, Resident Evil 4. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't I can't wait for March. And here here we go. We've got the iconic opening with Leon staring out the window. And this time he's 
not as uh, quippy with the police officers in this scene. He seems, to, although we don't really hear what he's thinking in the car ride, but he's really suffering the side effects of dealing with Raccoon City. Yeah, I think they're really going to be playing up the PTSD element of his character and letting us know that, yeah, he's not handling things well. Because we've seen in uh, Resident Evil Vendetta that, like Chris, he has turned to alcohol to deal with his issues. And he just doesn't really have much of a social or personal life. Let's just put it that way. It's all about the job, the commitment, the the work. And, there, and there's there's Ashley. We now know that the who the face model is, a, a, a Dutch girl called Ella Freya. You can find her on Instagram. Welcome to the RE family, Ella. You you look great as Ashley. Here we've got a closer look at Leon in his uh, new get-up. Um, you can see the clock tower here, so he's obviously making his way into the village. And he's about to get a call from Hunnigan, because we can see he puts his gun down here. So maybe... The calls from Hulligan are going to be more real-time based rather than cutscene based. I don't know 100% for sure. But I would like that if that's the case. You know, much like how Jill and Carlos, when they talked over the radio, it was more real-time than cutscene, even though you could skip it. There we go. March 24th. Right, well, we don't see in this trailer, for some reason, they've also confirmed that uh, they are working on content for the PlayStation VR 2. Now, I don't know if that means they'll be, you'll be able to play the whole game in VR or if there's just going to be additional content. But for me, it makes more sense if they are doing a version of this game where you can play the entirety of the campaign in VR. Because um, it really seems like Sony want the VR2 to launch with a very strong collection of games. We've got, they've announced Village is getting the VR2 treatment. We've got Horizon Call of the Mountain. So it makes sense to me that this will also be fully playable in VR, including any additional content that comes with it. I know two versions of RE4 in VR. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I can't wait. I will 100% be getting this day one. And I will 100% be getting the PSVR 2 headset. If, when it, well, not if, but when it gets announced. Hopefully it's not too outrageously expensive. But we shall see. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode. I'm going to end this here. I, I don't do trailer breakdowns very often. So I apologize if this isn't up to the standard of some of the other people who do this kind of thing but i really wanted to talk about this trailer and the remake because well four yeah not it's in my top 10 but at the low end of the top 10 i'm still really excited because this it this looks like it's going to fix all the issues i had with the original i mean the re4 remake uh the re4 vr on the oculus or meta fixed the biggest problem i had the controls but this is looks like it's going to fix the tone problems I had with the original. But anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been the Resident Evil 4 Remake trailer. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.